So here we are now inside the greatest on-campus sports facility in America, the Carrier Dome. Oh, yeah! This was the most unbelievable lacrosse facility um, ever, known to man. And uh, it was awesome to play here, and one of the reasons that enticed me to come and be a part of this program was the specialness of the Carrier Dome. So right here is the, the men's uh, locker room. We would have our pep talk in there and get ready. And then we would come out through these doors to the largest crowd in college for us. Here we go! Go! So here we are in the Carrier Dome. Um, half of this facility now, it's basketball season. So they cut the dome in half basically and transform it into a basketball arena as well. Um, the Syracuse basketball team gets well over 30,000 people. But the Carrier Dome itself fits 49,000 people. It was built in 1980. This is a brand new turf. Um, and uh, as you can see, there's a lot of orange in here. And this is uh, just an unbelievable presence of a facility. A lot of great memories from a lot of different sports, football, basketball, basketball and lacrosse have occurred here. Um, and at, right now, it's set up for uh, both men's and women's lacrosse practice who come in for extra shooting. As you can see up top, there's a Roy Simmons Jr. banner. And uh, over on the, on the uh, far side, all-time greatest program, lacrosse national champions with a picture of my, my brother Mike up there, this 22 jersey. And then Jim Brown, um, labeled as the greatest player ever, both football and lacrosse. This is um, in terms of being at the big time, this is the big time. This is the greatest facility in lacrosse. And um, to be a part of this and have the opportunity to call this home is uh, pretty cool and um, great to be a part. As you can see, we are now up closer to the topper level of the Carrier Dome. And uh, the basketball team is practicing their nationally ranked team. They've won national championships and um, dominate 21 seasons year after year. Coach Beheim has been here for a long time and he's very famous in the Syracuse area. Um, also a very big lacrosse fan, so he would always come over uh, when the lacrosse team was practicing and, and like the hard work ethic that lacrosse players had. So he uh, respects the sport of lacrosse and um, he's been a great uh, leader in the community here at Syracuse.